I'll tell you about the revolution. One day, me and some guys were sitting around the table in the physics classroom of Robert H. Fink University, making plans to break into the president's house and club with baseball bats. Want to know where I was there? They would have thought I was the man if I hadn't come. I realized that, thinking about that, two weeks ago. I had my first breakdown of kind of that stuff. Well, let me tell you where these revolutionaries are now. One works for IBM, one for General Foods, one for an ad agency, one's a management consultant, one's a systems analyst, and two of them are the computers, and here I am living the marginal existence they thought was so damn romantic. So when they ask me what I'm doing these days, I tell them it's consulting, and I hope the bastards don't get into the pun. My name is Bradley Wolf, and uh, I do poetry about poverty and emotional illness, and I do poetry about other things, so what you've got here is a mixed bag. <clears throat> Looking forward to the day I turn 40. December 5th, 1989. Actually, I'm psyched. I will be different on the first day of my 41st year, because we all expect to be, and I intend to be. I'll kill things I think are signs of immaturity by saying, thank God that's over with, and ignoring them from then on. I'll have a complete checkup, of course. Heart, lungs, diet, exercise. I want the next 10 years to last. I couldn't care less about gray hair, and I see wrinkles as status symbols. I'm certainly looking forward to my 40s. If I take care of my health without driving myself crazy, I should make them last until I'm at least 53. in a sandwich. You have, let's say, definite values about eating. You hold strongly that a submarine sandwich must be eaten in a straight line, and then you order tuna salad. Of course, you wonder why. But you may be trying to tell yourself something. After all, such salads seem bent on fighting you. First, grimly determined bite, accompanied by the most authoritarian squeeze of your fingers. What else happens but the start of the fillings exodus to the last paper underneath? Chew as literally as you might, you've already lost. You have to give up at the end, get a fork, try to pretend that this is what you wanted all along. But all that those rebellious fillings want to is to be cooperated with. It's their nature to breach the lateral boundaries. They ask only that you submit good naturedly, turn the sub to either the left or the right, and nibble as if eating them were not a job you had to get through in the shortest time or be penalized. They understand your idiosyncrasies. They just ask that you understand theirs. There's only one of the myriad dress rehearsals possible for dealing with human beings. Sometimes it's unbearable, and we have no room to go and cry in. 
Yes, it's coming up Christmas. What you want to do is put on a black armband for the warm weather, the old house, the things you can't buy. The Christmas spirit is a department store angel that turns a blind eye. Want to come with me and have some refreshments? 